After years of waiting, Animal Crossing New Horizons is finally here and it's all I want to play and all I've been seeing on my social media feeds. As much of the world is stressed and staying home right now, it seems that New Horizons has come just in time to our rescue with its healing aura, calming vistas, and engaging mechanics. Old Animal Crossing fans and new gamers alike are all talking about what a great tool New Horizons has been for them during this stressful time. There are a few times when a game can attract so much attention for its psychological and emotional benefits, which is why I wanted to make this video. To help us pinpoint what exactly we're gaining from our virtual island getaways. Although I've covered Animal Crossing New Leaf on screen therapy already, I wanted to write about all the new benefits we can gain with New Horizons updated gameplay, and of course revisit some of the classic Animal Crossing positives we can rely on getting when we land on our new island. First, positive effect. New Horizons carries on the long-standing tradition of Animal Crossing games to inspire lightheartedness in its players. Even if we're loading up the game in a bad mood, after a few minutes of play soaking in the game's low-stakes positive mood, we can feel the tension begin to leave us. Research has found that moderate gameplay in positive games like Animal Crossing can contribute to positive emotions and emotional stability. Positive mental well-being has also been associated with gameplay as a means of relaxation and stress reduction. And New Horizons ticks all the boxes for a perfect recovery experience. It has relaxation, detachment from stress, learning opportunities, and control. Simply engaging in something as light and cheery as New Horizons can help us recover from stress and stabilize our moods, enhance our feelings of affective or emotional well-being, and inspire feelings of mindfulness and gratitude. We also get a chance to replenish crucial psychological energy that we used up trying to cope with real life. On our island, we're quickly and efficiently reminded of the beauty of the ocean, the calming effect of wind rustling leaves, and how healing a few quiet minutes hunting bugs and talking to villagers can be. The genuine kindness of our villagers and sweetness of the game's atmosphere can be very useful if we're feeling worn down from the negative behavior of others in real life. Another great way this positive mood boost is maximized while playing New Horizons is the introduction of a new, more robust reward system like the Nook Miles system, which motivates intentional play and satisfying goal-setting behavior. The cheerful mood-stabilizing aspect of New Horizons is particularly useful when we're feeling overwhelmed by anxiety or negative emotions and need a safe space to engage in simple, meditative, goal-oriented tasks. Routine much like the previous games in the series, New Horizons encourages routine building. Routine is important for developing feelings of stability, confidence, and safety. Feelings we need plenty of in the face of distress, anxiety, or sadness. Loading up New Horizons to complete daily tasks can be very healing when we've been shaken out of our typical lives and routines. Developing routines, even in a game, can help us cope with feelings of powerlessness in real life and remind us that it is possible to create order out of chaos. After all, the theme of New Horizons is to develop a wild landscape into our dream towns with functioning facilities and meticulous beautification. So it helps to know that when we start each new day on our island, everything is going to be relatively the same, and if there are changes, we are the ones to create the change. Any little surprises are usually positive, always low stakes, and keep us engaged and curious. All positive emotions that boost our moods and lighten our outlooks on life. As the only catalyst for change, and with the new crafting mechanic, the player can set their goals and invest in projects for the future giving us something to look forward to as we unlock more and more features, slowly but surely, that allow us to exercise more independence, agency, and most importantly, self-expression. I discussed the importance of self-expressive play in my original Animal Crossing video, however, New Horizons offers multiple new and game-changing customization features that have expanded the player's ability for creativity and self-expression exponentially. As an avid New Leaf player, it's actually kind of dizzying to consider all the new possibilities in New Horizons. I can't describe my glee when I found out that we can not only place furniture outside, but can also landscape and manipulate the terrain itself. Although I will always cherish my town in New Leaf, after four years with it I did feel a little pinched for options to express myself. Now with these new features, and not to mention the ability to customize our appearance as much as we want without having to wait 24 hours to get rid of a haircut we got at Shampoodle, we have so much more freedom to create and engage in identity play. Just as with New Leaf, but to a much higher degree, we can express ourselves and tinker with our decorations or terrain as a means to slowly and carefully ponder our identities and how we want to be seen by ourselves and others. 
The reason it's so satisfying to find the perfect outfit, the perfect arrangement of furniture, or landscape the perfect town is because we are engaging in self-discovery. The hours we spend customizing our island and avatars are much more productive than we think. We sharpen our understandings of who we are, what we find beautiful, and how we would present ourselves in a world without judgment or restriction. With some hard work and satisfying strategy, we can create a space that not only reinforces who we feel we are without outside limitations, but we tailor safe and beautiful spaces particular to our interests that we can return to for more rest, recovery, and feelings of self-confidence. All of this boosts our positive mood and contribute to an increased well-being and self-knowledge. These effects can be particularly healing if we have been experiencing pressure from social roles to put ourselves second or if we feel suppressed because we currently don't have the freedom or means to decorate or dress as we please. If these are our struggles, we may find yet another benefit from New Horizons. Agency Agency is one of the three main psychological resources everyone needs to keep constantly replenished and balanced. It's the feeling of autonomy, a freedom to do as we please and meaningfully shape our environment. Just like in New Leaf, we have complete control over what we do in a day. If we want to just pick weeds, sit on a stump, fish a little bit, and save and quit, that's just as valid a choice as visiting four islands, donating 20 specimens to the museum, earning 5,000 nook miles, and buying out the complete stock of nooks cranny in one day too. Since Animal Crossing doesn't have a linear storyline, we make our own story exactly as we want. Along the way, however, we engage in energizing and rewarding curiosity and discovery. New Horizons features more complex currency systems and measures of progress than in previous titles, as well as more dynamic interactions with villagers and objects. With each new day, I've been unlocking more and discovering even more to do. I'm constantly engaging with the in-game environment to learn more about all the mechanics and to find opportunities to create more beautiful and calming arrangements. In Horizons, we're encouraged to be curious and mindful of our surroundings, and practicing curiosity can be very beneficial for us. Typically, we're only curious when we feel safe. Otherwise, when we are anxious, we adopt avoidant behavior. New Horizons provides a positive, safe environment that naturally inspires exploration and discovery. By engaging with feelings of curiosity, we're practicing mindfulness and the willingness to learn and grow our understandings of others and the world around us. A great skill to practice and to take with us into the real world as well. If we use New Horizons as a tool to remember how to look at the world around us with the same creative, curious, and joyful eye that we do in the game, we stand to gain a fresh and revitalized perspective of our surroundings and increased life satisfaction, which is a big part of long-term emotional well-being. We could use a dose of agency and curiosity if we've been feeling powerless or too anxious to explore new things in real life. We can wash away some of our emotional stress by reclaiming power and feelings of safe exploration exploration in New Horizons. Social Connection New Horizons offers us a chance for meaningful social play, just like in previous Animal Crossing games. The feelings of connection and validation we get from sharing our islands with friends is very therapeutic, especially if we've been feeling a little isolated lately. And with the launch of the real-life Nook Link app that goes along with the game, we can also text or call our friends while visiting for more intuitive and immediate communication. Another beneficial addition is the new resource management dynamics that change how we play with other players living on our island. Because of the limited daily resources on our islands, we have to quickly find ways to strategize and delegate resources among all household players to make sure each player's interests are being considered, which can result in strengthened bonds of communications with loved ones and some great practice and collaborative teamwork. A useful skill to brush up on and beneficial for our long-term emotional well-being as well. Conclusion for myself, I know that during this time of great stress, playing this game has been like holding on to a piece of driftwood while lost at sea. Knowing I have an hour or two of cheerful, autonomous, and self-expressive play in an adorable little safe space waiting for me each day has been very healing. I would say that mindfully playing New Horizons and analyzing all the benefits I gain from each play session has successfully helped me combat peaks of my own anxiety and helped me self-soothe some of my emotional discomfort. If we can play mindfully and look critically at the skills we sharpen in this game, we can bring those skills into our actual lives. This game can serve as a great daily reminder that even in dark times, there are plenty of joyful details about ourselves, our friends, and our world waiting to be discovered if we're curious and appreciative enough to go look for them. Thank you so much for watching. 
If you'd like to see my review about the psychological benefits of playing Animal Crossing New Leaf, please click the link here. And if you'd like to see more about video games, mental health, and well-being, please go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment about any games you'd like to see covered. And I'd also like to take this chance to thank Stuart Bateman for providing this new outro music. Please go ahead and check out his links in the description as well. Thank you. And as always, happy playing.